guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to this week's Divine Masculine Reading for April 28th until May the 1st. Uh, let's see, what type of reading should we do? Um, I we'll do a Celtic wing. Yeah, no. Um, what to do? Yeah, Celtic wing, what the heck. Okay, so let me pull the cards first. So present position, foundation, past, um, what you hope for and likely to get, the near future or crossroads, what you're resisting, your internal environment, what you will get, your external environment, the foundation, or sorry, uh, the summary outcome, get in there, um, and the final outcome, and the overall energy. And let me just shuffle my deck just in case I want to pull. Clarifier. I want to try to pull the least amount of clarifiers as I can. Okay, so beginning with the masculine's present position, four of swords. There's an image of the three of swords here, but it's a wrong image. Okay, so the four of swords is um, retreating to solitude, um, retreating from heartbreak, a uh, very difficult situation that hurt you. And so this is finding stillness in order to heal your heart in the present position. Okay, so in the Twin Flame reading, there was a disconnect happening on the masculine side, um, a feeling of being drawn towards an emotional experience, but there's somebody in his environment who's um, saying some things that you know, make him feel worthless. So he's retreating from that. So the foundation, wow, the 1111 connection. So he feels that, you know, he, he understands the twin flame connection. He, he feels connected to the feminine. He desires it. And, but at the present, he is disconnected from it. Okay, so the past position, wow, the Nine of Cups. Feeling like your wishes and dreams have come true. You felt emotionally fulfilled when you were in that connection with your twin flame, that true love, and you, you felt like life was a party and you celebrated life. Okay, so what do you hope for and likely to get? So the Seven of Cups. Um, <clears throat> Clarity, you know, this came in as a present position in the Twin Flame reading, so confusion, um, knowing what you want, not knowing how to get there, so reconnecting with that um, Nine of Cups and Eleven Eleven connection, um, needing to make a decision, so there's a lot of thought and consideration going into his next move. Crossroads position, Two of Pentacles, this is change, the wind of change, um, feeling off balance. So this is a seed being ground, um, planted and taking root. Um, and it's going to bring abundance into your life. But really this is a feeling of being off balance. Okay, so what are you resisting? Ten of Wands. So you're resisting putting down the burden. You're caught in the machine. You feel like you're giving a lot of yourself, so 
you know, the crowning energy for the Twin Flame connection was the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> so this is wanting to, you know, needing to battle for something, needing to struggle to get to a certain point in your life, um, and being exhausted, whereas the Ten is, you know, collapsing in exhaustion. Your body can't handle the stress. So you're resisting... Um, you know, putting an end to something that is causing you a burden. Your internal environment, six of wands, feeling like the rock star, feeling excited, feeling um, encouraged to move towards the thing that makes you happy. So you're being drawn internally towards an emotional experience. Um, and you feel like you're on the right path. but you're exhausted. Your external environment is the death card transformation. So there is major changes coming in um, and it's going to transform you for the best, you know, to help you become the best you, you can be. So you are putting an end to something and we saw that also in the Twin Flame reading, facing your fears. Um, you know, there's a dark night of the soul that you are moving through right now. So this is death of the ego, major, major transformation coming in. So it is causing you to, you want this change. You want the change to take effect. You want to clean house so that, you know, this new start can come in, but you feel that there's still so much work to do and you're you're going to fight for that. So what will be is the universe card. So completion um, of the you know the fool's journey. It's come to an end. The final piece is put in place. Major accomplishment. So they're again pointing to this completion, the end of a cycle, a major ending. So what you want is to pursue the thing that makes you happy, that makes you feel emotionally satisfied, to pursue the things that bring you closer to you. And what you'll get is that completion. Those answers will come to you. You have to roll with the punches. Okay, so the summary outcome is the Five of Swords. Okay, so we saw this card coming in. Um, in the past future for the masculine so you know it's being triggered um, negative energy finger pointing we see a four swords in your present position so as a summary you want to move away from this type of energy you are trying not to burden yourself from with it and you're trying to be optimistic and look at the future and you know but something is ending in your environment. You're cutting something out of your life, something that was negative, um, and allowing something true to come forward. So the final outcome, wow, yang, the masculine, you are finding your true authentic self. Completion of the fool's journey. Very powerful energy to to be in you know so the twin flame reading was all about spiritual union so this path of um, the twin flame journey helps you to find yourself and that's what we see here so you're doing the right thing you're withdrawing from conflict even though you feel confused about your path those answers will come you will see the light so don't be afraid of transformation. Transformation and change is a scary thing. Um, but you're being asked to <clears throat> embrace it. Be in nothingness. Okay, so the overall energy of the reading is justice, karmic return. Justice will be served. 11, no, the card number 11. So whatever vibrations you send out into the universe, that will return to you. This connection is what you desire to return to you. 
you just want to discover yourself. You want true love. You want completion. And justice, karmic justice is on your side. So you are clearing negative vibrations and karmic relationships from your life to allow change to come in, to make room for, to discover who you truly are, your power as the masculine. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from, let's do it from Call Up Baron Reed. So one message from the universe for the masculine. Higher power. Oh my God. Okay. So the meaning is conscious contact with higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source and energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. So the relationship message, it's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connection and remain aware of your true nature. There you go. Me, remain aware of who you are, your true nature, um, consciousness, your higher power, a definite connection to the universe here to discover your power as a divine masculine. Awesome reading. Okay, so um, I'm going to stop the video there. So I'm going to be doing the extended reading now. So if you want to purchase the extended reading, you can follow the link below to my website. Or um, I also give the readings out uh, through Patreon as well. So the link will be below as well. All right. Cheers.